first things first is we're going to get our makeup out. I know I'm going to be using this foundation with this foundation brush. And then I'm going to be using this primer, the poreless primer from Benefit. Yeah, so those two we're going to start off with first. And for this look, I'm going to actually save brows for last maybe. Because I want to get straight into it. I don't want people to wonder like what the different changes are. So we're going to do these four these three first. So, have my remote in hand. I have my setup already. Woo. All right. So we don't really want the hair to change because the end result, we're gonna do the hair changing. So I'm gonna make sure I keep it behind the ear so that it stays where it needs to stay until the end, okay? I'm gonna hold my three. I'm not at home, so I don't have a table to put things on top of. So I'm gonna do three products at a time. I want a little bit of fireplace showing. Step one, find the song. I'm gonna be using Huckers by Shy Girl. Sounds like this. It's gonna be really awkward in the beginning, but let's get started. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, I'm gonna watch it if I like it. And I'm not gonna clear the music as I'm doing this because if I clear the music and try to focus on this, if I do that, I'll be here forever. So I'm not gonna focus on the music. I'm gonna just focus on, I'm gonna keep the video recording and to put on my primer, I'm gonna stay still like this. I'm gonna put the primer on in dots, as you can see. And then I wanna figure out how I want my mouth to look because it's gonna be this way for the entire video. So I don't wanna do that and that looks stupid. So I'm gonna go like this. And then rub that in really quickly. Foundation time. Keep your head in that same spot. Take our foundation brush. Okay, rub that in. All right, so the other camera died, so I'm just going to put this on the side and just have to play it only on this one. So next, we're gonna go in with our concealer and I'm purposely making dot marks everywhere because I want it to be very drastic when it's doing its switches, so. I'm gonna cut this part out because we don't need this for footage. All right, so next, we're gonna go ahead with the concealer. The one that's nice and dark. And for this one, I'm actually turning my head. Ah! <laughs> All right, take your brush, blend. I'm gonna stop recording. All right, so next we got our brows. So we're gonna work on brows right now. We're gonna take this Laura Mercier thingy, brush it up. This, this sounds and looks so crazy, but I don't have a mirror in front of me, so I'm gonna have to use my phone and draw these things. so it's crazy like if you're walking in on me you're gonna be like what the hell is she doing but <laughs> anything for TikTok right <laughs> to the audience, they won't see a difference, but I'm gonna put it on because 
after this, we gonna finish our try on haul. So. All right, now we're gonna do our underliner, our mascara on the bottom lashes. Let me watch this video one more time so I can see how they're ending it. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a transition where I turn my head. I'm gonna go, so ah. And then since we're gonna be turning our head, we're gonna go. We're gonna change, we're gonna actually change shirts also. this entire TikTok. So, really easy. You did TikTok? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I think you should come upstairs. <laughs> okay, I'm <I've been> fine. <laughs> yes. So, you want to start off by just opening Final Cut Pro, create a new event, and name it whatever you want. Next, go ahead and open a project, and if you look right here, you can click where it says video and put it down to vertical. And then I change the resolution so that it's really crisp and clear. And keep it at 60 because I recorded it in 60. So if you recorded in 24 frames or anything else, feel free to put it at what you recorded it as. So usually I would take all my clips from my memory card and I would put it onto my hard drive and then work from there. So I have a section called edit reel, which is for you guys. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just drag everything to the timeline. Once that's done, select all the clips and detach the audio. This isn't anything we might have said as we were recording because we don't need any of that audio. Next, select all the clips again and then go over to the right side of the screen and where it says rotation, I'm gonna rotate it so that it's nice and straight the way it's supposed to be and then scale it in so that everything is all even and um, uniformed and brought in closer. I like to zoom in, which you can do by clicking Command plus or Command minus for zooming out. And I do this because it makes it a little bit more easier to look at certain clips. Now, we all know how the beginning of the song goes. It starts with a loud scream. So that's what I'm gonna look for right here. I look like I'm taking a shit. <laughs> So ignore that. This is, I think I did like two or three screams. So I like to have two or three options in the beginning so that I can see how it looks when I put the audio attached. And from there, I will do a process of elimination. So all of this is extra footage that we don't need for this part. So go ahead and delete that. And I like to keep my mouse in the blade tool. So click B on your um, keyboard and then it looks like a little blade if you see it and I do that because it helps me to drag the mouse over the clips quickly and then I can see what needs to be cut and go from there so I always keep it on a B what we're looking for is any clips where my mouth is open those are the clips that we're gonna use and so we're gonna go ahead and minimize these 21 minutes down to 35 seconds sounds ridiculous but it's done all the time Now that we've reached the end, the parts, these are pretty much the clips that we want to show the makeup and how we finished it. And so I'm gonna do, be doing a turn head transition. And so in order to do that, you want to get two clips where you're turning your head and you wanna kinda slice it while you're midway of you turning your head. So <laughs> I'm gonna try to explain this as best as possible. So 
I'm just running my blade tool. Still, I'm still deleting clips as you can see. And so I thought from the gray to the pink would be a good transition. So I'm gonna cut there and then pick out that part. I don't see anything else I like. So I'm gonna delete that clip, both of those clips. Look for another one where I'm turning my head. So it's all about just figuring out which one you like best. So this part usually takes me the longest, the ending clips, because I feel like you want a bomb ass ending. You don't want something that's corny or cheesy and you want to show the makeup. So I ended up liking that one. And then I said, let me find one more just in case. So I figure I delete that. And we're going to continue looking for the best clips from here on out. going to do now is we're going to add the music so i save the video to my phone from tiktok and then i airdrop it to my computer and then i drag it to the timeline so you're going to drag it underneath the clips and then i right click and detach the audio and then erase the video because we don't need that so now we have the actual audio saved and as you can see it says it's only about 12 seconds long meanwhile we have about 36 seconds on the timeline so now we have to minimize again so we're going to match the screams with so sorry you guys can't hear this i thought when i was um when i was uh screen recording that it would you would hear it but you can't so but you can kind of see that where the there is that blank space in the middle that's where the quiet begins and if you zoom in right where this mark is right here is where the beat drops so we're gonna click m the letter m on the keyboard to make a mark right there and then from here on out you just want to go ahead and make sure your clips uh fit within that 12 seconds so if you put your arrow on the edge of a clip you can drag it to make it smaller now if you can see these clips are too long so we're gonna go ahead and shorten these you can tell it's too long because it's moving super slow and if it's too short it's gonna move too fast so you can see that's way too slow right there as you go there so I'm gonna keep on shortening shortening the clips and then so for the next couple of seconds just watch me shorten the clips Before you go further, go all the way to the beginning of the video and rewatch all your clips to see if you like this speed. Now for me, this is still too slow. So I'm going to just randomly grab, well, one is still too slow and two, we're already at the end of the song, which is right here. So I'm gonna make another mark by clicking M on the keyboard. So we really only have between here and here to show the tutorial so if you want you can grab a bunch and then speed it up two times but then it might be too fast because look so I'm gonna undo that and then I'm gonna grab only a few in the middle just random clips and click two so that should be good so let's watch it back now it's kind of flowing and then where the mark is you can see we're almost there it's kind of perfect so we're gonna keep those right where it's at and then start trimming the end of the video. So all these longer clips you see, which are the, the parts that show the makeup look. So we're gonna trim those down. We're almost there. Let's trim that down. Let's cut that piece out. Trim that down a little bit more and then let's 
see how it looks. And then just because it's so dry and bland, I'm gonna add some transitions in and make them smaller. And then it kind of adds a little bit more life to the video versus just three basic clips. And then after I'm done, I'd click share and then Apple devices 4K and then save it as something simple as makeup video. And that's pretty much it, my loves. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my first edit with me video and it was hard as hell, okay? Uh, it's not the same as the first video, but it's uh, close enough. <laughs> All right, bye guys.